Changes are coming to the campus of UMass Dartmouth in an effort to make it safer for pedestrians. Last week, one student there was hit and killed while walking on campus. WBZ's Nick Giovanni shows us what's in the works. A series of campus safety forums are being held today for faculty, staff, and students in response to calls for change over what happened here last week. This is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me and my family. He didn't deserve this, not a single bit. That was Lauren Patillo speaking during last night's vigil at UMass Dartmouth about her younger brother Frankie, the freshman who was killed last Thursday when he was hit by a car near his dorm on campus. It's, you know, obviously very sad right now, and I think for a lot of people, it's kind of one of those overarching things over them right now. Students who attended the vigil returned to class Tuesday, still mourning the loss of their classmate. Some said they noticed a difference in the way people were driving around campus. Like, I've noticed, like, a lot of people, like, driving a lot more cautiously. In response to calls for change to enhance safety on Ring Road, the school's main thoroughfare, Chancellor announced several steps the university is planning to take, some right away, others by the end of the academic year, including portable speed bumps, flashing speed limit signs, additional patrol cars, elevated speed tables and crosswalks, as well as concrete barriers to protect some walkways. Precautions some students found reassuring. I think it's a great change. Like, it's super tragic what happened to Frankie. And um, I'm glad that they're like taking it like really seriously. And it's a little bit more reassuring. It's still a little scary that that did happen. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit more cautious lately, considering um, it, it makes you a little bit more hypervigilant. Reporting from Dartmouth, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.